Cecil John Rhodes uh, built the road from Grotteskeer to Hard Bay. And in the process, uh, having to acquire labor, he brought people from, uh, from Fran French Hook and other areas, and uh, they had to come and work here and commute back and forth, and he saw it fit to settle some of those people on this land. Many of the families started settling in and people came, other families came and uh, it became a community known as Pratia village. We were forcibly removed in June 1966 and uh, we were moved to Lotus River. There was a big fight for turf and people started. To, uh, I think that that may be where part of gangsterism also uh, that is presently known as the gangsterism originated and my focus now at the age of 65 is to see our claim uh, being completely settled. Restitution is about setting right some of the wrongs of the past. I mean it's impossible to put it completely right but this is one thing that we can do where people lost land and that land is still available we can give them that land back. And I think that symbolically, psychologically, that is an incredibly important contribution to reconciliation and peace in the country. The, the building behind me was, was a building where I uh, started school in. Even, even the, stair, the stairs is the original stairs that we used to gain entry into the school and the, the, so you could get in on that stairs and then you could get in from the church side but I think we mainly use this entrance uh, for, for the school. Protea Village Clayman community has been a, a wonderful experience. I mean they are extraordinarily gentle, real decent human beings uh, very focused, they know what they want, they have a huge history and they want to come back. The last burial that we had was uh, an old lady three, four years ago and she was 99 years old and she was adamant to, to move back to, uh, to, to, to Protea village. Uh, and had, didn't have a thought of wanting money. She said, I want, I want to go home. Look, it was very stagnant because uh, of the fact that there was this court case against them. And so they were kept in court, uh, the claimants were kept in court for four years. And it was, it was tragic to, you know, to, they, they had every right to the claim, they had every right to the land, but they could do nothing because of the fact that it was all in court. William Booth, uh, it, it appears that, that uh, he, he, he wanted to preserve the one section which is on Earth 212, uh, which is on this, uh, the, the rugby field side uh, of, of our claim uh, area. Mr. Booth and, and two others uh, weren't too happy with what's transpiring and they took us, uh, they took the, 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 the whole matter to court and that, that set us back a good four years. Here yeah, you've got wealthy Cape Town, but with a history mm. of people who were dispossessed of that wealth. Mm. Now we have an opportunity to actually bring those people back mm. and reinstate them. Mm. Not to the position where they could have been had they mm. lived here for uh, mm. all, all those years, because they'll never mm. be able to do that. Mm. But you, you're at least changing the racial profile of the city, mm. and significantly so, uh, in the very heart of the whitest part of it, mm. the whitest and wealthiest part of it. Mm. You're changing the racial profile. You're making it a city for everyone. This, this spring has been flowing as long as I can remember. It's been found to be uh, uh, drinkable, uh, it's a fit for human consumption. This is unfortunately outside the footprint of, of, of what uh, the city will be giving us. This 
was uh, was the life uh, lifeline to to our community. I think that we will uh, most likely be able to appoint a developer to take this on and uh, to ensure that the claimants have houses and the benefits of living on a site like this. And the very first time I came back here, I didn't feel like going home. You know, it's, it was as if if I could just stay here and that's that's what what uh, what it's all about you know I, I feel our community has been hard done by and and we just need to get back and just uh, rebuild our lives mm -hmm.